Hey y'all, I hope you are as excited for fall as I am. Today I'm doing a Forever 21 try on clothing haul. So not only am I showing you everything I got, but you're gonna get to see how it looks on. If you wanna find out how to win the $100 Forever 21 gift card, you have to watch this video to the end. Let me tell you, this shopping experience was one of the roughest of my whole life. Is roughest the word? For those of you who don't know, I work at the fashion show mall one day a week. Woohoo! I feel so needed. I have a job where I have a lot of breaks in between the small jobs I have to do throughout the day. So I always have about 40 minutes to do anything I want. I usually just work on my phone. So during my last shift, I decided that I was going to go shopping at Forever 21. The walk to Forever 21 from where I work is kind of far, so that already took up a good amount of time. I get there, I pick a bunch of things out, and I take this very seriously. When I shop, I look at each piece and think about what outfit it would go with. I never just buy one piece because it's cute and then I have nothing to wear it with. I took almost my whole first break picking out a bunch of stuff. I went and I tried it on and I kept about half of it because the rest I didn't like how it looked on me, it didn't fit right. I knew I needed more items than that so I asked at the front cashier desk if they could hold those items. I explained where I worked and then I'd be back in about 20 minutes and they're like cool what's your name? Okay we'll hold it up here. I go back to work and then I go back and I don't go to the cashier at first, I just go straight to a different section of Forever 21. It's two stories, it's so big, I can't find my way around, I get lost. So I go straight to a different section that I know I haven't been to yet. I start picking out all these clothes, I go try them on, I feel so confident, I have so much cute stuff. And I bring it all up to the front and I'm about to tell them if they can hold this with the other stuff because I have to go back to work right away and the next time I come back, I'll just buy it. So the same cashier that I gave the stuff to the first time looks at me and says, okay, I'll hold this, but somebody put all of your other items back. I don't even know what my face looked like, but I could just feel it drop. And the girl that he was checking out at the time like looked at me like sad, and she was like, it took you a long time to pick those out, didn't it? And I was like, yeah, okay fine hold these because I want these and so I go back to work I go back I try to find the things that I had before but I spent so much time the first time looking through everything so it was really hard for me to find all of the same items but I got most of the same ones finally after a total of like two and a half hours worth of shopping trying on and waiting in line I finally leave the store. The total was $199.61. Give me a thumbs up for the struggle. First thing I got is a super cute brown mini skirt. And I am living for these mini skirts. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know I have them in quite a few colors. I also got a very similar one in mustard yellow. And this one is also ribbed as well. And has cute little back pockets. This is kind of just a plain sweater, but it's so soft. If you could feel it, you would understand why I have it. I know it's not the cutest, and I wish it would have came in like maroon or orange or something, but all I saw was gray, and I didn't ask any questions because it's so super soft, and well, I wanted it, so I got it. The next item doesn't look so good when I'm just holding it up. This is an off-shoulder olive green little bodycon dress, and it's not too short. It fits kind of like the one I'm wearing now, except this would go straight across, and then this is totally off the shoulder. And it's also way longer than the dress I have on right now, which I love because, as you can see, I feel the need to tie something around my waist in this one because it's so short. I feel like my butt's going to pop out all the time. So this, I feel very confident. It's very long, and I love the ruffles. It makes it girly because olive green is not the girliest color. This item I'm not as excited about. It's a nice little mustard yellow top. It's ribbed if you can see the texture and it has little ruffles on it as well. I had a super cute shirt picked out in this color and it was like a v-neck and super cute and they put it back and I couldn't find it but I really wanted a mustard yellow top so I found this one and it's good enough. Then I got this super cute yellow boutique style dress. It's a wrap dress, so it's gonna have like a nice little slit in the front, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love a lot of leg action. 
Quick interruption to everyone who's actually been watching this video. Right now is your chance to win the $100 Forever 21 gift card. It's going to be an e-gift card, so it's going to go straight to your email if you win. You'll be able to spend it immediately online or use the code in store. All you have to do for the chance to win is comment down below Alexia Forever. That will enter you to win. You can comment as many times as you want. Each comment will count as a different entry. One winner will be randomly chosen. Make sure you comment down below. Super cute high-waisted leggings and matching crop top. You know, sometimes I want to look like an Instagram model too. These are faux leather pants and they look a lot cuter on than they do right now. Super stretchy, high-waisted. This top. Which, I, I'm not the biggest fan of what it says. It says, I ain't sorry. When I post it on Instagram, I'm probably going to have some caption about, I love Jesus. Hashtag, I ain't sorry. This is like a super duper crop top. You definitely have to wear at least a bralette underneath. That was everything I got from Forever 21. $200. This is about 20 pounds. <laughs> please give it a thumbs up and go subscribe wherever the subscribe thing is I don't actually know I'm on their website right now and they have a bunch of super cute costumes and I saw them when I was in the store and they're very cute it's not anything I would actually wear because I'm trying to go trick-or-treating I'm trying to look young but let's say for whatever reason I, I don't know I don't party either so I would never actually wear these things but they're cute for a photo. You might be too ambitious. Leave comments down below if I should do a Forever 21 costumes clothing haul.